this is a very valuable program that you can uh, use um, using the Halton Cloud feature. First of all, you have to access the elementary internet tool. So I can put HDSB on Google Chrome and preferably Google Chrome. Press on HDSB elementary internet tools and click on the Halton Cloud link. You would put in your username and password, the same password that you would use to log into the network. And as you see, it will come up with um, different files that you have added over time. Now you, you are going to add a Google Chrome extension to support uh, reading and writing. So first of all, we have to visit the Google Chrome Web Store. So you would go to the um, More drop-down menu, click on Find More Apps. You're going to enter, enter into the Google Apps Marketplace box, read and write. And click search. You're going to enter in uh, read and write text help. Search. If this route doesn't work or this pathway does not work, then you would click on your address box and put in uh, Google Chrome's web store. Enter. And here it is, Chrome Web Store. And then you can enter into the Chrome Web Store search box, read and write text help. And here it is. So you would click on the read and write for Google Docs. You would, sorry, you would select Add to Chrome. I've already selected it, so that's why it's coming up as, as a green box. So what I would do, if you're a new user, you would just Add to Chrome, and it looks like this. Go into your Google Drive. So once it is added, you would go into your Google Drive here. Go to create a new document over on the left hand side where it is colored in red. Click on create and select document. So as you begin typing, there might be a uh, message that pops up um, asking you to authorize and you, you will say yes to, and to give authorization that you'd like the read and write function or program, um, and it would appear, okay, and it would appear, and the toolbar would appear up on the top of your screen. So now I'm going to demonstrate the use of the read and write program. I will type in a sentence. The dog is running across the street. I can have it also read to me. So I click to the beginning and I look at my toolbar feature here. We have a dictionary, picture dictionary, a play button, a pause button, a stop button, fact finder, translator, collecting highlights, and vocabulary. The main focus here is just typing out a sentence and pressing play. The dog is running across the street. Another feature is that you can add um, pictures so the sentence can be made sense out of looking at pictures. So for instance, if I click on dog and I highlight dog and I go to picture dictionary, it would give me a picture of a dog. If I highlight the word street, let's say, and I want to access the dictionary, I can highlight it, click on dictionary, and it will give me a definition 
the eye dogs running across the street of what a street is. The benefit to this type of program is it allows students to track words as they are reading one word at a time and also with access to a picture dictionary and dictionary. It also allows uh, for students to hear what they've written so that they are able to make adjustments or they are able to um, revise or change their work so that it sounds very accurate. Um, and this would come in particularly handy with those students who have writing challenges um, in the area of written expression, editing, um, making sense of uh, sentence structure, so on and so forth. So as it is very useful for all students, particularly useful with those students who have learning disabilities in reading and writing. That 